So I was going through my YouTube videos and I found that I have a significant amount of views in this quick and silly tutorials. So I thought, let's milk it more. I genuinely wanted to teach you guys how to make a third person AAA shooter game in Unity in 20 minutes. So in the next 20 minutes, you will get this piece of greatness. So if you're interested and want to create something similar, let's get started. Before we start, my name is Sajish Nair and I'm an indie game developer. I make games for a living or can I say living because I literally die every day making games? Anyways, I'm also making my own game. It is way cooler than this AAA game even though it is a pixel art based game. So if you're interested, join my discord or follow my social handles, more interesting updates and tutorials. To be honest, I myself was searching for tutorials on how to make a third person shooter game. But for you guys, I watched almost all the videos, found the easiest and the quickest methods and I tried my best to simplify it even further and I mixed merged everything to make something simple and fun. I'm using various free assets in this project. All the links in the description and I will also share the complete source code in my discord server you can download it from there first of all we need a third person setup unity offers the best solution so why worry so as you may already know I am using unity's third person controller the new one and with that we already have a great third person controller setup who can walk around and do some stuff it looks a bit boring now so let's add some spices or free spices i guess so let's add some 3d assets i will use a bit high quality AAA style models but you can choose any for the environment and characters i will use this great asset called sun temple it's a super cool asset and for characters and enemies i will use these i added all the models to the scene and replaced the unity's default model with our new model just place the new model in our hierarchy below the player and assign the new avatar in the animation animator controller and now you already have a triple a setup with the player walking around in just five minutes you can show this to your non-developer friends and it will blow their minds trust me i've did it so many times and i've also tried it to get some girls but never ask me how it went or i would close this youtube channel so moving on, now we have to do some hard stuff, some code to shoot and in third person games if you notice the player is not in the center, not in the center of the screen, he's tilted a bit left so we can do that very easily because the new system uses Cinemachine cameras and it is super easy to modify them. For shooting we mainly need two ways, one is a normal shooting and one is a zoomed in shooting where we aim. For that we will use two cameras, one for the normal view and one for the zoomed view. Just with a simple mouse key press we will switch between these two cameras and it will work. There is one problem though, when I zoom in and rotate then it causes a problem. So you can see to fix that we will restrict the rotation when zoomed in and we will also add some more sensitivity to the camera when zoomed in. And I will also rotate the player with the camera's rotations so that it looks better with zoomed in rotation. And now we have a decent aiming feature. Now let's add some weapons and improve the animations. To be honest animation is the worst part to find the proper animation and to adjust them as per the model it's very difficult. I used Mixamo to download some better animations and we also need some shooting animations too. For weapons I am using this rifle model it looks really great and I will adjust it as per the hands of the player. For that I will pause the scene with the holding animation and will adjust the rifle and will copy the transform and paste it later. For shooting I will use a very simple mechanics with mouse click. 
whenever the mouse is pressed a projectile will be shot which will go straight and hit whatever is in front i will simply create a bullet object in that bullet object the code will simply move it forward and i'll also add some collisions and damage later on for animations i will use a separate layer so that i don't mess up with unity's default animations i will add all the shooting mechanics in the new layer and will control the layer's weight with the aim and shooting functions and i have also used animation rigging so that aiming works properly once all the animations are in proper place and the weapons are ready it will look like this and i also add a effect to the bullet to make it a bit more real i was feeling a bit lonely in this big place so i thought let's add in some enemies to keep it simple i will make the enemies dumb yes they will be very simple they will just roam around and when the player reaches near them they will run towards the player and will attack the player and they will also take damage from the player when the player shoots them i will use nav mesh to make them walk around and i'll also add some simple code to attack and also to take damage from the player to give it a little more excitement i used post processing i used the old post processing package because the entire graphics was using the older rendering style because of some shaders with associated with the environment and not the new universal render pipeline that's why i used the old post processing stack and then i added some camera shake which was very simple using the cine machines and some particle effects like muzzle and heat effects which are very basic just activating them when some certain triggers occur so after a while uh, i i mean 20 minutes <clears throat> here is the final results To be honest it took more than 20 minutes but most of the time was spent on animation research and finding the proper assets but it is pretty decent project so it is very helpful in the learning phase it will not help you in learning much coding stuff but it will boost your confidence and if you try to add new stuff to that then you will hit the block and then from there you will start the actual game dev learning so yeah please let me know in the comments Do you like this sort of video? I want to know which type of videos you guys want to watch. And due to my very very high views, I was not able to determine which content is best. So you guys let me know in the comments. And if this video gets 100 comments, then I'll make a part 2 of it with even more badass features, boss battles and give away the source code of almost a fully functional game. I promise. That's it. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing. I'm making this awesome level for my own game which will be my next devlog. So subscribe now or miss it for eternity.